What's going on, Do You Even Blog Tribe? You are tuning into a very short Podia tutorial series. Just a couple of videos to walk through. These are going to be very short, concise, and to the point that is going to walk you through how to create online courses, how to create digital downloads, set up memberships, create a storefront, design, customize your landing pages, and pretty much everything else that Podia has to offer. We're gonna go through it really, really quick. My name is Pete McPherson from Do You Even Blog. This is the channel for bloggers and podcasters, creators who wanna create money on the internet. Let's go. First, what is Podia? Podia is a software where you can sell, create and sell online courses, digital downloads. It says it right here on the homepage, but it's important to note that this is not designed to really be used on your website. Everything is on Podia's website, and you can have your own custom domain name, custom URL, but it's made for selling and creating online courses. You can bundle different products and courses, create a membership with like recurring fees. They offer some email marketing where you can uh, literally upload subscribers or collect email subscribers and send them emails. We're going to talk about that in a separate video. And then you can have a storefront, courses blah, 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 your domain.com or something like that. And you can also set up a, a real time chat messaging system with potential customers. So let's do a quick tour of the program. By the way, I'm not going to go through the account creation process. It's super easy. You don't even need to enter in your billing details. You just enter name, email, create a password, hit go. And you're pretty much like off to the races here. I am going to come here and log into my Podia account. When you first log in, you will see a few stats, some recent activities, somebody, you know, purchases, people enrolling in your free stuff, uh, an overview of customers and sales and revenue and stuff like that. You can click each of these to see more detailed analytics, but we'll show you that stuff in just a minute. You can also quickly create things from here. You can create a new email to the subscribers, create a new coupon code, a new page on your website, on your Podia website, that is, a public blog post or like a members only blog post. Actually, that would be post. Page would be like an about page, I guess. And you can also create new products and stuff right from here as well. So let's go through the top menu because that's obviously the big part. Products is where you will see your current courses and products and stuff like that. You can add new products from here. We're going to go over that in the very next video, how to create online courses, because that is the biggest part of Podia. And create new product there. You click that. Memberships, same thing. It's going to list out your memberships. I don't have any right now. You can create one right here. Test membership. Create your membership. <clears throat> and that's where you can find those, update those, edit the settings, that sort of stuff. Messaging is obviously where you find your like real-time chat interactions. I don't have any live on my site, but it's super easy to set up. Start a conversation. Uh, that's a separate video as well, by the way. Coupons will show you your current coupon codes which uh, I don't really want you to see mine right now, but you can do that new coupon code this way, show active coupons. You can also filter stuff this way. Email is where you can send broadcast to your subscribers and campaigns, which are sequences of emails that trigger after something happens. Uh, you can set up a sequence after somebody enrolls in a product, somebody buys a product or something like that, or downloads your free thing. You can send them a sequence of emails, that sort of stuff. I will have a separate tutorial video on that as well later in this series. Customers is obviously where you can see your customer data, their names, email address. You can click on these and see more details. I'm not going to show you the details of my, you know, my people right here, but this is where you log in and see that. Affiliates is where you manage and add new affiliates for your courses and your products. Obviously some different settings right here. You have to turn on affiliates, by the way. You do a do dollar amount or a percentage, like 30 for 30%, 40%. You can also see your current affiliates. I don't have any because I don't do affiliates with this right now. You can also edit some of your affiliate settings right here. The default commissions, you can also change per affiliates uh, or and per products, product specific commissions, 30%, 40%, depending on the products, stuff like that. You can also like <laughs> see right here, it's like open, anybody can sign up or you could have invite only affiliates where you personally manually invite them. Sales will just show you some analytics. I don't sell anything directly from Podia. I use a third party checkout plugin called Thrivecart. You can go look that up. Uh, so it doesn't actually show me any of my analytics because I use Thrivecart for my checkout function. That's just what I've been using for years. I decided to stick with it and do integrations. So if I click, do you even blog, I can do a few things from here. I can view my storefront 
which is just, I don't actually, again, I don't sell anything from here. I actually sell things from Thrivecart, but that's why this looks a little awkward. I don't share this with anybody, but you will see all, this is like the public facing version, right? Somebody can come here, see the different products you have and buy them. That would be that view. You can also edit your store. You can edit the way things are laid out. I have a separate tutorial where we'll go over all of this stuff in just a few videos, but that's where you can find that right there. Last but not least, you can go in and see some of your account and store settings. Billing obviously takes you to your billing if you need to cancel your account or if you want to upgrade your plan. Account settings is where you like update your email, your address, your notification settings. You can change your password from here, that sort of stuff. And store settings, a little bit more broad store wide settings for all of your products. The details, the name of your store, the language, again, setting up your like from email, I got my PO box as my mailing address right there. Payments, this is, I believe, yep, you connect your PayPal account here or your Stripe account is what I have. You set up your VAT settings if you wanna collect EU VAT. This is also where you can set up integrations like MailChimp or ConvertKit or ActiveCampaign, that's what I have set up right here, Drip, uh, and a few more right here. Zapier, obviously, you can use with Podia as well. You can change your custom domain right here. Mine is just like dyeb.podia.com. But I also have a custom domain set up, which is courses.doyouevenblog.com. There's also a wonderful how-to article on how to do that right here. We'll talk about that later as well. Analytics, you can see some various stuff here. You can, uh, if you're on a uh, the highest plan, I can't remember what they call it actually at the moment. You can enter in your Facebook Pixel, Google Analytics, and any third party tracking cookies you want, and that'll track those things in Facebook Pixel uh, and Facebook Ads Manager, Google Analytics, and more. So that is the quick tour. In the next video, I want to walk through step by step how to create an online course 